In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the WooCommerce Marketplace Flutter-based mobile application backend configuration settings. Hi, and welcome back to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Marketplace. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the WooCommerce Marketplace Flutter-based mobile application backend configuration settings. So in the previous video, we saw how the mobile application appears to the customers as well as sellers and the customer and the seller centric features there. So we checked that out in the previous video. Now in today's video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be seeing how the admin in the first place would be able to set up the home page of the mobile application there. We'll be seeing how the admin can set up the featured categories, banners, carousals, notifications, external links, and much more. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the backend panel of the WooCommerce Marketplace store there. And let's see how the admin would be able to initially configure the mobile application homepage in the first place there. So right now I'm at the WooCommerce Marketplace backend panel as you can see. So what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the admin backend there by entering the username and the password and tapping on the login button thereafter. So let's get ahead and let's log into the admin backend panel first and then we'll be seeing the different configuration settings that are there in the admin backend panel for the mobile application itself. So I'll just tap here on the login button. As soon as I've tapped here on the login button, you can see that I've been logged in and on the left hand side panel, you'll find that I have the MobiCool Marketplace option and under that I have the sections uh, to configure the different banners, carousals, featured product, featured categories, notifications, external links and settings. So first let's go to the settings option and let's see what different options are there. So here what you need to do is you need to enter the Google authorization key there. Then you have to enter the user ID and the password for connecting with the mobile application there and then you need to tap here on the save changes button. Now let's come down to the banners section. Now uh, the banners can be of three types as I've already told you in the previous video. One is the product banner, one is the category banner and one is the image banner. Tapping on the product banner will redirect you to the product page. Tapping a category banner will redirect you to the category page and tapping an image would do nothing. So uh, here you can see that under the app banners, we have a complete list of banners that we have created. Some are of the product type. For example, the very first one is of the product type there. Uh, the other one is the image one. One is the category one. And then we have the product and the category one as well. So how we can add a, uh, uh, how we can add a banner there that would then be displayed on the mobile page or the mobile home screen of your device there. Uh, within the mobile application itself for that you just need to tap here on the add banner button tapping on that would bring up this particular section where the banner image is a mandatory thing to be uploaded all of these options are basically mandatory and that uh, they need to be selected there uh, for creating the banner there so you have to upload the image after uploading the image you have to tap on the banner type now the banner type as i've told you can be on the product category or the image if i choose it as product then I have to choose the product or that so I can choose a product there if I choose it as category then I can choose a category for the banner otherwise if I choose it as image uh, then I just need to select the status there and then we can save the three types of banners that we can create that are the product category or the image banners there now coming down to the carousals now, as I've already told you, you can create the different carousal having the products or the uh, products from the different categories there. So product and category carousals can be created. The carousals can be set with the names like Christmas sale or hot deals or Black Friday sale. So you can create these type of carousals that would be visible on the homepage of your mobile application there. So here you can see that I've created one carousal with the name products and that has been enabled. We can edit it, we can crash it. And uh, to add a carousal, you can tap here on the add carousal button and that will bring up this particular section where you need to give the title, for example, hot deals of the day. Uh, then you can choose the type, whether it's of the products. If it's of the product type, then you can select multiple products that you want to add within this particular carousal as per your own requirement. 
otherwise if it's of the categories type then you can choose multiple categories uh, you that would be used to display the products within this particular carousel itself and then you need to set the status of the carousel as enabled or disabled as per your own requirement and then you just need to tap here on the save button to save the particular carousel now then we have the featured products now you can also set up the featured products that would be displayed in a carousel basically on the front end there to add a featured product what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add product and you'll be redirected to the product section here i'll go to the published products to make a particular product as featured i need to tap this icon there so you can see that right now uh, if i hold my mouse here you can see that it's the featured uh, section here or the column there and if i want to make it as unfeatured i can tap here on this and this would make this uh, as unfeatured now if i want to make it as featured then i can tap here and this would uh, light up as you can see and it's a featured product now that's the samsung led tv and the same would then be reflected on the mobile home page of your home screen there now coming down to the movie cool marketplace once again then we have the featured categories now the featured categories are displayed at the very top of your home page of your mobile application there so to add a featured category what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add featured category button then you need to set up the sort order for the uh, featured category and from the drop down you'll find the complete list of uh, categories there and whichever one you want to make it as a featured category you can select that up and you can enable the status for the same and just tap here on the save button to save that particular featured category itself now coming down to the notifications here you can create the uh, push notifications that are of the product type or of the category type and you can send the push notifications out to the mobile devices there from this particular section itself so to send a push notification you just need to tap here on the send notification option that you can see uh, send notification option that you can see to add a notification you can tap here on the add notification button upload the image for the notification set the title of the push notification if there's any content you can set that up then you can choose whether it's a product uh, notification then you can choose a product if it's a category type of a push notification then you can choose a particular category and then you need to select uh, the status for the same and then you need to tap here on the save button after you've saved the particular push notification that would be displayed here and then you can send the notification by tapping on the send notification button for example if i tap here on the send notification button the notification would be sent out and you can see that the notification has been sent out onto the mobile devices there lastly we have the uh, external links here now in the mobile app on the bottom right hand corner we had the more section tapping on that more section would display the complete titles and uh, on tapping on a particular title we would be redirected to a particular url that was defined in the admin backend panel there now for example we had set up the titles as welcome page contact us web cool mobi cool uh, we can also set it as terms and conditions for payment uh, shipping terms and uh, policies etc etc and for each we can set up a particular link so whenever a customer taps on the particular title within the more section of the mobile app he'll be redirected to the particular link that you would have assigned to that particular title within this particular section itself to add a new row you can tap here on the add row and you can set up for example payments and you can set up a payment uh, url here uh, and you can tap here in the save changes to save the particular one and this payments would be added to the more section there within the mobile app itself you can add multiple rows as per your own requirement there you can also remove them out by tapping on the cancel button that you can see here on the right hand side and then you can tap here on the save button to save the changes there so yes these were the uh, the sections that were the banners carousels featured products and categories notifications external links and settings that we get in the admin backend panel of the WooCommerce Marketplace Flutter based mobile app when we are checking the backend configuration for the same. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions, or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.